Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's Daniel from The Tool Room and tonight we're going to be asking the question How is the Klein Tradesman's Pro Toolmaster Backpack held up after months of use? Tonight we're going to look at it. Right guys, so here it is then. I'm going to only say this once more because it is a pig to say. Talk about a tongue twister. The Klein Tools Tradesman's Pro Tool Master Backpack. Okay, so, um, you know, I will put that up on the screen now. There you go. You can write it down if you wish. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to talk tonight about, guys, what I like about this bag, uh, things I'd like to improve about this bag, little ideas I'd have, and how I found it held up. I'm going to say straight away, guys, my bags do not get battered, okay? Um, I work in my job mainly in retail, so the worst these bags really see is the back of my van. That's the most perilous place it could possibly go. I um, mean, it can survive that. It can survive anything. But on a serious note, the worst these bags really see is, you know, the warehouse of, of you know, of, of, of supermarkets or anything like that, occasionally a distribution centre, that's the worst they really see. Um, and as I said, as I've said before, they might see a leaking roof or a puddle of water or something. But I am, and I've got to say this because it's got to bring it into perspective. If this bag was in really rubbish condition now, it would be a completely rubbish bag because I'm not hard on my bags. I consider where I put my bags because these bags are expensive. Okay, I consider where I put them. If there's a horrible mess somewhere, I will not put my bag in it. Um, you know, and I do try and look after these bags as best I can. So if I just show you the bag, you can see that the bag is still, I've given it a wipe over. Okay, the bag was pretty dirty, but I've given it a good wipe over. And you can see that the bag is held up, a little scuff there. I'm sure that would wipe off with a wet wipe or something or a, a big wipe. But you can see it's all still in pretty good nick. Now, the bottom of it, I'll just show you this is a bit scratched up i suppose that's the only place that gets like dragged along the floor i guess um so that's you know you can imagine that's going to be scuffed up but you know no holes no tears no rips everything's good just a few scuffs and as you can see it's good i can show you the material this ballistic weave this six this 1680 d ballistic weave has held up very well uh the zips have been very impressive on this bag they have held up well uh everything inside has stayed in good condition Show you this as well you can see the zips still pull nicely they don't snag or anything after having a lot of weight in it and as you can see the inside of the bag is still you know it's pretty much still like new so it shows that you know you can give this bag a good cleanup and it's still like new okay so let's just talk about a couple of things i haven't liked so much about the bag okay um the first one's not so much a don't like it it's just for me personally i haven't had much use for it and that's this tool caddy um you can find that if you fill this tool caddy up, you've got to be careful where you put things or it doesn't shut properly and you're snagging the zips, which for me is a big no-no. And that's okay, you've just got to be careful what you put in where and consider that, okay? I haven't found much use for it. Um, the reason being is the pockets, these pockets here have been a bit small to fit the tools I'd have in mind to go in there, in there. And, um, you know, I, I, I used that for some parts or stickers for a while. But to be honest, I found that I've taken that out because I can fit a lot more in it for my personal use with this big space at the bottom. Now, I like that they've covered the ballistic weave, the bottom with the ballistic weave. I like that. So it's not just bare plastic in the bottom. Excuse the filth in the bottom. <laughs> I said I've given it a wipe over. I haven't thoroughly deep cleaned it. Okay. I like the three big pockets. You can just chuck any old thing in there, which is great. I mean, for me, I, I don't use it in the traditional sense. Most people will keep screwdrivers up there, but I tend to keep, like, you know, my cutters and things there, and I'll just put them, like, in a row along there, and they'll sit in those pockets, so I use them up. And then I'll put, you know, I find I'll chuck loads of things in there, like, you know, I'll grab, you know, I'll grab a load of, you know, pliers or something, just shove them in there without any, without any issues, you know. So I'll have to pile those things up. And then on the bottom here, I can keep my drill in there, I can keep my meters in there, and I keep my meters in their meter bag. So they all just sit in the bottom there and I can fit a heck of a lot of stuff in there. So I find I can fit more in the bag for my personal use with these in here rather than rather than the caddy so i've not had too much use for the caddy 
but that's okay that's okay um i like how the reinforcement and the shape of the bag has stayed this is one thing i look for it's not all bent out of shape it's held its shape well and it's still in good condition um now getting on to the next thing which i've not liked quite so much about the bag and that is the weight okay i originally um i originally <clears throat> wanted this bag to be my everything bag so I could just put everything I wanted in it. I would never have to go back to the van or anything like that. I could just keep everything in this bag and that would be it. I found it, to be honest, too heavy for that. As I've mentioned before, it weighs six and a half K um, empty. Now, <clears throat> that, as I said before, is to be expected, okay, um, of a quality bag, of a well-made bag. But I'd say it's probably... I've tried a lot of different bags and it's probably the heaviest backpack I've tried. Okay. So I'll say that. Um I wouldn't thought I didn't think that would bother me, but when you can easily fill this up to be, you know, 15, 16 kilos, and you know it is it is a heavy lump to pull around. But I will say more so when I'm picking it up by the handle and moving it around sight, that's where I feel the weight more. And when I'm putting it onto my back. So when I'm putting it onto my back, that's where I feel the weight of it most. But once it's on my back, it is actually very, very comfortable to wear. In fact, one of the most comfortable bags I've worn. It is, it is really nice in that way. Um, and what else I've noticed, which worries me about it, I'm saying worries me about it, it's always worried me about it. I tend to watch the weight because I'm always worried that there's no sort of reinforcement thing to the body on these straps here. Um, that was a worry I had, but they've never broken. Um, they've never broken on me, so that's not a that's not a problem. Um, so they've not let me down. So they're obviously pretty well made, and you know there's no, as you can see, there's no slipped stitches or anything on them like that. But you know that that's the thing that worried me when I threw it onto my back with the sheer weight of the bag. So yeah, um, so yeah, um, it is it is a heavy bag. My last thing I'm going to say, which is a little bit negative about the bag, uh, from a consumer point of view, you know, obviously I'm very grateful and very fortunate. That uh, Super Odd UK and Klein sent this bag out to me, so a big shout out to them for that. Thank you very much. But also, um, just to say that it, you know this is an expensive bag. Um, this is certainly one of the most, if not the most expensive, uh, backpack uh, on the market at three hundred and thirty-two pounds. So it's not going to be in everyone's reach. This bag, however, you know, CEF they often have sales. On one thing to look for is when they have sort of, um, if they've had stock in for a while, they often sell them off at a really good price. So there's some good bargains to look for there. That said, it is expensive, but it is an incredibly well-made bag. You know, we need to we need to talk about you know the handle made of aircraft cable. You know, that's that's pretty impressive, isn't it? You know, that's going to be pretty difficult to chop through. I've never even if you use like a cutters on it, it's you know, so it's. It's made with well-made stuff. I like that they've really thought about the sides. They've got these uh, expandable, you know, pockets here. So it's like a two-use pocket, which is really expandable. So, you know, you can put a drinks bottle in there or something, which I found quite useful um, because I, w I don't keep anything else in there apart from that. So if I want to put a drinks bottle in, I can. And then over the other side as well, they've got a stretchy one, which also you could shove a drinks bottle in or something like that. Um, I would have preferred if the, the tape loop... Um, and this is nitpicking, but I would have preferred if the... Well, firstly, something I like about it. I like this. This is cool. I prefer this than a snap-on clip because this is a bit stronger. I mean, obviously, you can hold a dog on these things. So these are pretty strong. These are these are well-proven, okay? They've been used on dog leads for years. Dogs pull like mad. These have got to be strong, okay? So I like that. What I would have preferred, though, if there was just this strap cut off and you had one on each end. It's good that you can't lose that. Um, so that's a really good thing about it. But if you've got the tape loops on it, then if you want the blue and you've got the red, the green and the black in front of it, you have to take the red and the green and the black off to get to the blue. So it's nicer if you can just take both ends off and just get to whichever one you want quicker. It's not a massive problem. That's just me being lazy. Okay. Um, I've liked as well inside um, the sizing of the pockets. They've been really cool. Um, I always kept these flaps put back. I was tempted to cut them off a few times, but I thought, nah, I can't, I can't do that to the bag. Uh, there's nice, uh, there's, the vel Velcro's okay, that holds pretty well. I suppose it doesn't need to be super strong, just for a tool pocket here. 
um, and you know you can get your hands in nice and deep in there and they're nice strong pockets these are okay if you look in there I don't know if you can see on the camera but you know there's no wear and tear on those pockets at all where I've just been chucking tools in and out in and out in and out so that's that's a really good thing about the bag so the bag is certainly it's very very well made so I've liked that I also like the contrasting colors inside it's very easy to see where your tools are and if you are a bit of a Instagram poser which let's be honest a lot of us are it's cool to put all your orange Klein tools in there to all match nicely if you've seen some of my Instagram pictures you'll see I've made quite an effort to do that on this bag so the handle really comfy to hold really like the handle it's really nice i say it's a heavy bag and it, i feel the weight when i carry it around with the handle but you know it it does take it does take some of the uh, discomfort out of it really another thing i've really liked about this is funny the things that you think you won't use too much but then you do is this little thing on the front here where you can just keep your tools so you can just keep your tool holder in there i like that you can keep your pens nice and easily accessible on the front there and you can just balance things on there like i've said before you can just get like you know a parts tray for example which you can zip up in there and you know i wouldn't recommend you might strain the zips but it will do it you can keep a parts tray on there and then you can a magnetic one and then you've got like all your you can stick everything to the bottom of it unfortunately i stuck a wet piece of paper to the bottom of it and now i've got a permanently etched on weird magazine spread on it but there you go such is life but you know everything matches everything stands out you can see where everything is you know in the light um or dark um i like the zips they're all you know they put an effort into the zips putting these rubber embossings into them klein tools everywhere you know embossed everywhere you know they are showing this this is our flagship bag they're saying you know you get all the best stuff with this um and you know, not many people, not many people talk about this bag, um, but this is their flagship one. And normally, if anyone's looking at Klein's flagship and comparing them to other flagships, they compare it to their uh, their lesser down the range bag, uh, their lesser range bag, which is the uh, the far smaller one. Um, but this this is the flagship one. That, that that should be the one for comparison. I really like this as well. It's good to know you've got that on a bag. And I like that it's, you know, a different design to other bags. You know, most bags are are designed in a different way to this. And, and I like that this one stands out. No one else has this bag. And, you know, it, it gets a lot of looks on site. So, yeah, all in all then, um, I've really enjoyed using this bag. Um, you know, it is heavy, it is expensive, but it is a high quality bag. Um, I certainly, you know, don't see anything bad happening to it or it breaking in any way the way I use it at least like I said I don't give my bags a particularly hard life and I do make an effort to look after them I've never been a person that's quite happy just to throw my bag about the floor and kick it about but I'm sure if you pay this much money for this bag and you want this bag you're not going to do that with you you're going to treat it with a bit of respect oh another thing I like about it is my old bag um as you know if you watch my videos it broke um on the clasp there okay when i was adjusting it and i had overloaded it to be fair this one's got a far thicker clasp on it so that gives me a fair bit more confidence in it and also the reason i was yanking on the clasp on it because it kept losing shape on my back it kept pulling through with the weight but this one you can tape up the strap at the bottom there so it stays put and it can't move shape and that's really cool i like that so once you set it to the shape of your back it stays that way and like i said before i find it a, a very very comfortable bag to wear this is so it is nice in that way so guys so that's my my view then okay i'll say one more time of the klein tools trademans pro tool master backpack and every time i say that i have to risk editing so i hope you appreciate that i've said that three times now okay so there it is guys um been very pleased with it on the whole and um if you want this bag i'll put a i'll put a link to it uh in the description below and uh please again guys please like please subscribe please hit the bell icon for more videos so you don't miss any and again check out my instagram guys okay tulip um so yeah a uh, little shout out um, thank you again to Vanessa from Klein Tools Super Odd UK for sending me out this bag and gifting it to me. Really appreciate it. It's been it's been a great bag, and um, yeah. And I hope you all have a very good evening, guys. Enjoy. Night night. Bye.